Where am I? Hmm. Could this be what humans call a dream? Fascinating. Protect the schism. What? If the schism is lost, nothing will stand between the world and Spyrex. That's right. I must protect Riza Maxia from Spyrex. You must protect spirit kind and humanity alike. That is your purpose in life. Exactly. If I die, the world would be in grave danger. Maxwell cannot die. That's right. You must not choose death. Never. You must never choose death. When Maxwell dies, when that happens... <sighs> that voice. I swear I've heard it before. A long time ago. <sighs> I wonder what happened after I passed out. Is everyone okay? Anybody? Jude? Uh. Come to give your report? Huh? Right into a fight, huh? Hey guys, it's NB Mech. Welcome back to more Tales of Zillia. In the last one, we made our way across Fezabel Marsh, and a lot of stuff happened. And if you don't know, I'd recommend you watch that one before continuing this with this one. And in this one, we woke up in the Silea Tundra, and we'll uh, try and make our way back to our companions. Too careless. <laughs> Self doubt, hesitation, dreams. It's like I'm becoming human. It's been a while since I've been alone. The area map is no longer accessible, huh? So we have... the Slaya Tundra, the North region. Yeah. We are, we're gonna want, want to run back to the North region real quick, because, again, just like every other region, there are... Uh, two ivory treasures to collect in each one, so let's... Oh, and I see a treasure chest over there, so we'll probably want to grab that as well. I can't imagine combat will go very well for us right now, considering that we only... We have a 
a water sword equipped, and this is an ice region. But yeah, we just kind of want to run back. Ooh. Well, let's see how this goes. Everything is resisted, so let's just let's just spam flare bomb and hope for the best. It'll probably kill him really quick. This uh, side of the playthrough with Mila's side is pretty a little bit over leveled, just because I have it set to have two times experience because I'm mostly just trying to speed through it on Mila's side. Because yeah, she's level 45, and on the Jude side they're about level 40. Ish. Oh, uh, what about my skills? We still got we still got some skills to do. Yeah, that'll do. Um, let's see. So we're looking for the the you know the ivory treasure is probably behind that rock right there. Hello, cutscene. Back where I started. Thank goodness. We never thought you would wander off on your own. We were most concerned. I'm sorry. I was careless. Where are the others? We don't know. Huh? What in the world happened? I see. Who would have thought those people from Azul would come to our rescue? Indeed. I am certain the others are safe. I hope so too. It's one of those flying ships from the marsh. What are those things? Wow, Rowan. I figured someone your age would have seen everything by now. <laughs> I assure you that's not the case. <gasps> What's wrong? It's... It's nothing. Let's just look for the others. They must be close. Right. Shall we explore the cave? Why am I feeling this way? Is it because of the dream? Area map now accessible. So, because of the way it pointed me in the south region, I thought that this was that was the way it wanted me to go, and that this was backpedaling. So, I guess we're gonna be backpedaling back to the south region to get the uh, the other ivory treasure. I'm pretty sure this one. There it is. We get an omega elixir. We get a fight. Everything we always dreamed of. And of course, these guys are just absolutely not going to have a fun time. And good night. Oh, and we should check Rowan and... Yep, Rowan and Leia are both... Both leveling up, so we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that here. There we go, perfect. Okay, so we'll, we'll run back to the south region real quick. Oh dear. Um... My lucky beard. Frozen completely through. Your lucky beard, huh? Also, we we have a new skit. Mila wakes. You two must have brought me here after I fell into the marsh flow. Yep, and you're a whole lot heavier than you look. 
We put you in the cave to rest while Leia and I split up to search for an exit. Forgive me. I've been a burden to you. Hey, come on, don't worry about it. We're all lucky just to have made it off that battlefield alive. Indeed we are. In any case, I am glad you are well. Of course I am. Maxwell can't afford to die. <sighs> she sure can't. Um... Yeah, we want to go to the south region. This one's only two regions to counteract the dungeons we're coming up to. Frigging four regions, so it's good. Uh, let's see. We don't have to go... Yeah, that leads back to the Festival Marsh, but there's nothing we can really do there. Uh, I think... Yep, there's the Ivory Treasure all the way over there. So let's pick that up, pick up the chests, and then go back to to the cave. So yeah, we got a hard eye patch, which I already have on the on this uh, save because I uh, inherited the the alternate costume so I could have the alternate colors even though I'm pretty sure that was free DLC, so I didn't I didn't need to. But it's fine. <laughs> We're good. Uh, may as well pick up this treasure chest as well, get, get some gold. Alright. Uh, now that we've got both of those, we can head into the... Back into the north region and then into the dungeon. Alright. So... Oh, hello. Hey guys, don't worry about me, We we don't need to fight, I'm already... I'm already sufficiently leveled up. It'll we'll we'll be fine. Yeah, sure, lemon gel. Why not? Okay. Yeah, there not really whole a whole bunch to talk about here, except for like perhaps the really like sad and like uncertain music where it's just like, oh no. What what could possibly happen next? Except I know what's happening next, so it doesn't really have much of an effect on me anymore, but... Oh, well. <laughs> Let's go into the Nala, La Nala Lava Tubes. I can use my people words, just as I can get hit in the back by a fiery bird. But now our, uh, our water sword will most certainly come in handy. Because the enemies here are all fire, so they're going to be weak to that water sword. And it's just going to be a wonderful time. I keep accidentally trying to, to combo into a spell as I run out of my AC points. So I just end up jumping to the air and doing not much of anything. But yeah, okay, let's see. Now that we're in the Nala, Nala Lava Tubes, uh, I believe the center region and the north region are where the Ifrey Treasure is, just like in the Jude side version of this dungeon, huh? But we don't need to worry about that just that this, that this minute because we are in the south region, so let's just keep walking around and seeing if there's any cool little treasure chests to pick up, like a miracle gel. One of the one of the better healing items in the game because it gives you 60% health, 60% TP. It's very good, but also very rare and very expensive. So like, you probably don't want to just you you don't want to use them. I was very much wrong about where <laughs> one of the Ifree treasures are. It grants me access to the energy barrier skill. What is that? Is that an art rather than a skill? No, it looks like it is a skill. Ah, here it is. All damage taken will be lessened by 30% at the cost of 3 TP each time. Maybe that might be a good a good skill to equip if I fight a boss fight that is like really damaging so I can lessen the impact Mila takes, but right now that's not I I would rather have the TP 
Especially because we're already a bit overleveled on, on Mila's route. So, like, I'm pretty sure that HP isn't gonna be an issue. Uh, either way, I'm glad I noticed that because then I would have been completely wrong about where the Eifried treasures were. Hey, do you know where we are? Is this a jewel? I haven't the faintest idea. There is still much in the world that remains a mystery, even to me. Are Wingle's words still troubling you? Are you worried no one's around to unify things now that Noctigal's gone? You could say that. For all his stubbornness, Noctigal had a gift for unifying the people. Rashigal's recent growth is a testament to that. I dread what will happen to it now. The question of whether I could do anything to help constantly plagues my mind. I'm sorry. I never realized it all affected you so much. Quiet. Huh? The soldiers from the marsh. What's so special about Maxwell? She looks just like a regular old broad to me. I can't believe they want us to capture that witch alive. What a big waste of time. Killing her would sure be easier. It would appear they are alone. Maybe we could squeeze some info from them. You know, rough them up and stuff. Perhaps. But could we really capture them with just the three of us? Huh? Did you hear that? I better go check. All right. Watch yourself. This is our chance. Right. We can do this. Who's there? Hey! What is it? <sighs> There's only two of them. And there are three of us. We're fine, don't even worry about it. Yeah, Rowan, you stay back and cast. Not that it matters, because these guys are just absolutely, absolutely ruined. Good night, sir. No one can stop me. No one can stop me. No. I stand corrected. It finally happened! Yes, this was the the winning the win quote I was waiting so much for in the, the last Fezable March episode. I'm sorry, you two. No need to apologize. Yeah. You know we're here for you, right? You can tell us if something's wrong. Hmm? Doesn't matter what it is, and you might feel better getting it off your chest. What do we have here? Could this be a Spyrix? It's a spirit fossil. Mila, I assume you know something about all this. I do. Is it also possible you know where these people come from? They're from outside Riza Maxia. What? Uh, what? I don't understand. This world, Riza Maxia, is surrounded by a spirit art known as the Schism. Outside the Schism lies a world called Olympias. And these people came from there. I am certain of it. <clears throat> Mila, does Jude know about this? Perhaps I should have explained this all to you sooner. Be on guard, you two. Something's coming. What is that?
That was close. We must leave this cavern immediately. We can worry about finding the others once we're out. We'll finish our conversation then. Very well. That sure sounds like the best plan, but first I'm gonna walk around back during this corner because I noticed this this uh, hole in the wall during the cutscene, and we get a flame cape during it. That actually might be a good idea to equip, considering we are in the flame area. And we also have a new skit, The Outside World. I know Mila said there was a world outside Rize Maxia, but I still can't believe it. Nor I. And yet I can find no other explanation for the army that suddenly appeared from the sky. Is it possible that those flying vessels were from somewhere within Rize Maxia? I doubt that. Then if we have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. I've heard that from Jude before. Something about an egg. Let's see, uh, one world inside the egg, and one world outside it? Ugh, it's so damn hot in here! All I can think about is the egg frying on one of those rocks! <laughs> Indeed. Let us focus on finding a way out of here. Yeah, I, I would, uh, absolutely assume the smoldering heat would make it very, very difficult to think. But we also do have... One more skit, cooking with fighter teagle. That monster's body was covered in flame. That was a fire teagle. It's a monster with a very powerful manalobe. So you're saying it channeled those flames? It can simultaneously maintain two arts, offensive and defensive, and uses them to wrap itself in flame. Whoa, that thing's better at spirit arts than I am. It even uses the flames on its back to cook its prey before it consumes it. Huh. For a monster, it's quite the chef. Indeed it is. Maintaining the right level of flame to cook a creature whole is a serious culinary challenge. Thanks for that lovely image, Rowan. You know it was trying to eat us, right? <laughs> yeah, we were going to be cooked whole on that thing's back. What's the problem? Okay, so we want to take the, the right path first, and we'll probably get a chest or something along here. And then we'll go to the left path. And this is the central region, so I'm almost certain that there is, yes, an ivory treasure in this segment. Um, so we'll keep an eye out for that. It might even be in the little loop-de-loop -loop below us right there. So we'll, we'll, we'll go and look at that after picking up whatever is inside this chest. A specific? Alright. That's pretty nice. TP up for everyone. Always welcome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, it's almost certainly through here. Probably. Maybe not almost certainly. We'll see. Yeah, it does, doesn't look like it. We just got some jet black feathers, so... It might be down that, like, offshoot branch up ahead, or it might be in the, the other loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm not sure. I'm just pretty sure that it is um, in this area. So we'll just have to keep a lookout for everything. That sound effect, though. It's harsh. It's harsh on the ears. Gotta say. Um, I want to double back just in case. You want to check the, like the entrance just in case I miss something, because it's entirely possible. Yeah, I I didn't think so, but it was worth a look. All right, let's keep going. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll find it. Oh, 
I should pick up this bag instead of just running past it. Yeah, almost 2,000 gold. That, or gold, excuse me. <laughs> Gotta get the currency correct or else I'm a fake Tales of fan. And I'm nothing if not a Tales of fan. It's like one of my favorite series. <laughs> that and Zelda. I love those two series so much. Ooh, a gothic cardigan. Let's... Equip that on Mila. Why does Rowan not have an accessory? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's increase his resistance to fire for now, I suppose. Uh, and can Rowan equip the long coat? He can, but he shouldn't. It's not better than what he has equipped. Okay, so it's probably... Yeah, it's probably up there. So let's climb... Ooh, we got a chest as well. What do we got in here? A spicy chicken roll. Increase EXP gained by 100%. Yeah, sure, let's overlevel some more, why don't we? <laughs> yeah, there it is, way back there. And we got a Bakura. I'm going to use this now and... Uh... Get the experience gain from the Bakara. Hello. It's only bronze, so there probably is a lot from it. Ooh, having... Did I... No, I didn't hold on to another weapon, huh? Because it resists all elements, so maybe physical might have been a better choice. But we don't have physical, so we just gotta keep... Hitting it with extremely weak attacks and hoping for the best. Like, it's not at risk of killing us, it's just... It certainly would go faster if we had a weapon that uh, would do a little bit better. That did a whole lot of nothing, huh? Hey, no, don't run away from Blue Sphere. Thank you for the quick heal, Leia. Man, this is taking so much longer than it, it needs to be taking. And yeah, should be down soon. It's only got like 300 health left. And oof. Good night. Age breeds greater experience. And we get a level up from. Leia, so let's see what she's got. I say that, but since this is the Mila route and I'm just speeding through level ups, I'm just giving her auto level, but... Alright, now let's make sure to hold on to that... Um... That spicy chicken roll effect until we fight the boss that's gonna be up and coming in about two seconds. In the next room, I'm pretty sure. Hey, don't mind me. Yeah, the the lake area. Lake. With a disciplined mind, even flames can feel cool. So you say. They seem plenty hot to me. I'm pretty sure. St like this. This would probably kill you. I'm the being like this close. Core. I feel so disgusting. Oh, indeed. I'll be happy when we leave this place. Like, I'm pretty sure being this close to lava would kill you, so there's no way willpower will make you feel cool, Rowan. Shut your goddamn mouth. Hey, can I ask you two something? Do you think I have what it takes to be a nurse? Are you asking because of what happened to that soldier? The best nurse in the world couldn't have saved him. It's not just that. The main reason I want to be a nurse... ...is because I thought it'd be nice to help Jude. You know, as my job. What's wrong with that? Are you troubled by what Agria told you back in the capital? A nurse's job is to help sick people, right? I just worry that my patients would question my motivation if they knew. Hmm. 
Personally, I don't think motives are particularly important. But what if I start making mistakes? I might start thinking it's the effort that counts. I'd be giving myself excuses for my failures. Is that the same one from before? Except now it sounds even more ticked off. The soldiers likely encroached on its territory while they were searching for us. Where is it coming from? Mila, behind you! And here it is! How could this be? Calm yourself. Leia, please provide support. You got it! Let's do this! This won't stop me! And here we have the fire teagle, and it has some tiny teagles with it that are strong to water. That's unfortunate, so I'm just gonna focus on the, the fire teagle. Why did I cast <laughs> fireball at it? That's not gonna be doing a lot. Ooh. Maybe we do want to go and attack the tiny eagle so we can, you know, make sure that Rowan doesn't die. Yeah, regarding Leia, it's complicated because I don't think... I don't think there's any wrong reason to get into healthcare, but it is true that, like, if your motives are there for Jude rather than for helping people that you might not have like you might not put the best work in I don't know but again I don't think there's a wrong reason to get into healthcare as long as you do give it your all and I mean you're a better healer than Jude so like you have that right so don't worry about it Oh man, this thing just went down super easily due to our our leveling as well as having having a water weapon. I say that and then it immediately just runs us over horribly. But like, it, it, it's it, it's dead. Good night. Let's just finish off the 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 fire gin, and this boss fight is over. My mustache is singed as well. I'm sorry, this is my fault. N no, that's not true. So this is experience. Never stop improving. All right! I've been nothing but a burden to you both lately. It happens to the best of us. Don't let it trouble you. What is this maddening feeling? I don't know how to describe it, except to say it gets in the way whenever I need to focus. Are you okay? So, back to your question from before. Huh? Uh, right. Results are always important, yes. But what's even more crucial is the resolve to do what must be done. Even when I lost the four, even when I became crippled, I still had the willpower to complete my task. Indeed. Without will, success cannot follow. Yeah, you're right. Hopefully I'll figure it all out. But, by the way, what do you think about me wanting to work alongside Jude someday? Don't worry. I won't abandon either of you before you find your answers. I'm not sure you got the gist of my question, but thanks. Guess I was just imagining things? Alright, let's go. The exit should be ahead. Yes. Okay. Leia, you're so precious. Uh, yeah, let's just auto level it. Um, I kind of 
not quite sure what to say here, so I'm gonna let the game take it away with an unexpected chill. As if it wasn't hot enough, now we have this! A river of magma. I've never seen such a thing. Really? I see them quite frequently. For example, when a freak gets mad at Gnome for oversleeping, and those two go at it, the surrounding area usually ends up being reduced to a pool of lava. The great spirits of fire and earth fight with each other? Then Undine will tell them to cool it and flood the area with water, causing a huge explosion. Surely this happens only rarely. No, it happens all the time. Only to you, Mila. I'm getting the shivers just thinking about it. <laughs> Wait, this, this, uh, hopefully this happens in like the spirit realm and not and not the human realm, or else you're putting many people at danger there. Oh lord. <laughs> yeah. Bring <laughs> Mila just not getting Leia's question at all. Good lord. Um Yeah, I'm just completely drawing a blank, which is bad, considering talking is kind of what I meant to be doing, but that's okay, because we're nearing the end of the, the Nala Lava Tubes anyway, so we can just finish things up here, go into the, the following area, and see what happens there. So we got, got some more Chimera main, so yeah, we'll just jump down at the end of this this pathway here, hang a left to pick up whatever chest might be there, and then turn around, and we should be just about out of here. Yeah, all right, what do we got in our chest? We got some apple gels. Healing items are always nice, but I would have preferred something a little more expensive because apple gels are very cheap. I can buy many apple gels with, with the gold I have, so I it's not like I needed the game to give me to give me a free one here. The beggars can't be choosers, I guess. This one's gonna give me like nothing just to smite spite me. Oh, 20 silver ore, that's not horrible. We can use that to to very much upgrade a shop. So that's not bad at all. All right, we're done here. So now we now let's exit into the the Shyland Woods, and that puts us all the way up here. And then Jude would come out over there in the Kukar Ice Caverns. Um, so let's head to the Shyland Woods Temple now, shall we? And see see what who we can meet up with, if anyone. Hey guys, don't mind me. I don't actually particularly want to fight you with my my water sword. That doesn't sound like a fun time. So just just ignore me so I can pick up a pick up that and move on. Thanks. And here we are at the Shyland Woods Temple. Where are we? Look, it's Campbellar's castle. Mila! 